Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joe God Dead. If you like what you see, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, get those alerts for when I post next, you can be the first to see it. I'm out of here, enjoy the videos. What you need for a home studio! Uh, hey Joe. Uh, my dearest Joe. Dear Joseph. Hey Joe. Hey Joe, I'm just starting out in voiceover. What kind of equipment do I need? I and mean, like, what do I gotta do to set up at home? All right, nobody nobody actually asked those questions, but I kind of wrote down some stuff so I can tell you what you need when you're starting in voiceover, okay? Let's get started. What can you do to start off? A quiet room. So, what do I mean by a quiet space? Hey, I don't hear nothing! Walk-in closet, perfect for when you're starting. Blanket fort, pillow fort. You know when you were a little kid, you made those pink blanket forts? Shh, we're reading comic books. <laughs> Mom, I wasn't doing anything, I swear. When I first started voiceover, I was in my walk-in closet surrounded by, and it wasn't a big walk-in closet, it was a walk-in, it was enough for me to go in and shut the door, okay, cool. Surrounded by clothes, the microphone, talking into the microphone, had my laptop, and I'm just recording to practice. I even did national commercials from that little walk-in closet. So you could have a $5,000 microphone, a $1,000 microphone, you could get a $200 microphone that's gonna sound like a $3,000 microphone if you have that quiet space. Because if you don't have that quiet space, nobody's gonna wanna listen to you. The great thing about voiceover is it doesn't matter what you look like, it matters what you sound like. I know, I look like a poor man's Ben Affleck. What are you gonna do? Not far, South Boston. So now, let's talk equipment. What do you need to record voiceover? You need a microphone, that's key. Down below, I got some links down, some affiliate links to Amazon, the same voiceover microphone that I used when I started. The Rode NT1A, fantastic mic. USB nowadays, when you're starting off, I wouldn't recommend recording really professional voiceover with USB microphones, even though the technology is getting better. XLR cables, I'll explain that in a little while. So you need your microphone, as I missed my finger, you need a microphone, you need a pop filter, you need a mic stand, you need a computer, you need an audio interface, and you need a DAW, a DAW, a digital audio workstation. My favorites that I use personally are down below. You can click the links, check those bad Larrys out. Get her done! Not Larry the Cable Guy. Well, shoot! Okay, we get it. Enough. Cool. You can do voices. Check those links out. Affiliate links. Do what you gotta do with those, and you're on your way. So the big recap. So boys and girls, to uh, recap what we talked about today, we have a quiet space. John not, Krasinski. Not, not a quiet place like the uh, the movie with the aliens. And then we have uh, the microphone, the mic stand, the pop filter, the computer is key because how are you going to record? The audio interface, the DAW, the digital audio workstation, uh, and headphones. All those things uh, can be purchased at the uh, affiliate links down below. And uh, I hope you guys learned something. And uh, yeah, so love Peace, chicken grease. Thanks, guys, for watching. Tune in next time where I talk about. It's a surprise. Just subscribe. Thank you. Love you guys. Hasta la vista, baby.